Hey gamers, so for today we are going to be talking about why you should be building Sing Cho. Now Sing Cho is a really good character. He's one of the best four star support characters out there. Me personally, I really like Sing Cho because he's really good with you know hydro application and hydro damage overall. Now the reason why Sing Cho is such a good character and I would definitely recommend for you guys to build him is uh, mainly his burst over here. So his burst Gua Sword Rain Cutter. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but whatever. So Sing Cho's burst is where you mainly get Sing Cho's damage. So if you're gonna build Sing Cho, you mainly wanna focus on on Singcho's burst. You can also level up Singcho's skill, but uh, you don't really have to. Uh, you can level it up for you know more damage overall. Now here's the main reason why I would recommend for you guys to build Singcho. So if you guys can see over here, I have Singcho with the four piece emblem of a severed fate. Now the reason why I have Singcho with this build is that you know uh, like I said earlier, Singcho really shines the most with his burst. That's mainly the reason why I equipped him with the four piece em emblem of a severed fate. Now with the four piece emblem, the main reason why I picked this is as you guys can see over here we have about a total of 290 plus energy recharge now what the emblem set mainly does is uh the more energy recharge you have with singcho the more burst damage you get basically so that's basically 25 percent of energy recharge so it increases elemental burst damage by 25 percent of uh, singcho's energy recharge so we can have a maximum of 75 percent of that so we have 293 energy recharge right so if we just search uh 25% of 293 so this is the amount of extra burst damage bonus so that's 73% more burst damage from our energy recharge because of the four piece emblem that's also one of the reasons why I would recommend the emblem set with Singcho and uh, this is also pretty good because if the more energy recharge you have the more it's more likely you're gonna be able to spam Singcho's burst because you get the most damage out of Singcho from his burst now back to the artifacts for the main stat recommendations I would recommend just energy Energy recharge on the sands because you do need energy recharge for uh, more burst damage like I said earlier. For the goblet, I would recommend the hydro damage bonus since Singcho does scale with hydro. And for the circlet, you would either want to go with attack percent or crit rate if you're building Singcho with crit rate. In my case, I'm not really building Singcho with crit rate since I don't have a crit rate weapon because if you want to build Singcho with crit rate, you gotta have a crit rate weapon. At least one crit rate weapon and one crit rate artifact. So yeah, you mainly want to build Singcho with the four piece of level of fate. In my case, I have a five piece. Now, uh, uh, as for Singcho's talents, you mainly want to prioritize his burst since, you know, like I said earlier, that's where you get the most damage out of Singcho. And you can level up his skill basically for more DPS. You don't really need to level up his normal attacks. You would only want to build, uh, level this up if you're gonna make Singcho like a physical DPS, which is, which doesn't really suit Singcho that much because Singcho is mainly used as a sub DPS. So yeah, those are mainly the reasons why I would recommend for you guys to build Singcho. In general, he's just really a good hydro support, a hydro hydro sub dps and i think he's a very valuable unit especially if you have constellations of him you know uh c1 you you basically get more rain swords c2 you get more uptime from his skills c3 more talent level c4 c4 you get uh you basically get more dps from c4 so that would be really valuable c5 more uh, talent level like er earlier and as uh, for c5 you basically get more dps so yeah the constellations are mainly for more dps so the more constellations you get out of sync show the more valuable he becomes so yeah if sing chose in a banner i would really recommend for you guys to pull for him since you know like i keep saying over and over again he's just a really good hydro support overall and yeah i would really recommend sing Cho, especially if you guys don't have him yet or if you guys are uh new players or even veterans if you don't have if you like if you don't have constellations of sing Cho, i would still recommend for you to get constellations like because like i said earlier the more constellations the better but yeah in general sing Cho's just a pretty good hydro support overall Overall, that's why I really recommend him for you guys to build him. You know, uh, especially if you pair Singcho up with Pyro characters like uh, Yanfei, not really Yanfei, like one of the strongest Pyro characters out there, like Hu Tao or even D Luke. He would be pretty good with vape comps, you know, vaporized comps. So Singcho not only gives you more hydro damage, uh, his skill over here also has a little bit of a damage reduction. So that's always good. That's like a mini shield. It's not as good as Zhongli's shield, but damage reduction is pretty good. This just makes Singcho super 
super cracked, super OP. So yeah, that's why I, to I would totally recommend for you guys to build him. And yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts on Sing Cho, why I would recommend for you guys to build. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, uh, see you in the next video.